Hey y'all, Amato here with Rhythmatic TV. We here with Rap City. How are you? Hello, I'm good. How are you? Pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> so um, I'm a little antsy right now. This is like one of the people I look up to. Um, I love your dances. I love your choreographies. Um, and you're just like a really big inspiration Thank to me. You. So <laughs> surreal. <laughs> what is motivating excellence? Motivated Excellence is a dance training program, and they work with me for three months, four days out of the week, six hours a day. And basically, it's a training program that specializes in all the things that one needs to know uh, for the commercial dancer. So that's what makes it different. It's, it's definitely for the actual commercial dancer. Um, um, and basically, what, what we do is we work, on, um, we work on staging, we work on partnering, floor work, uh, props, uh, even audition techniques. We even have um, an, a Nathaniel Nico Anin, who is the theatrical director, works with them on acting, and, you know, acting like for castings and stuff like that. Um, we even have uh, martial arts and uh, yoga for them to help their body and spirituality because this business is definitely a tough one. So um, it's like a full range of uh, program and it's meant for the commercial dancer who's ready to take their themselves to the next level of, of their dance career. Awesome, awesome. And do you work with uh, the dancers one-on-one -on -one or? Well, I um, I take 20 uh, dancers. So we have, I mean, this this uh, program for the summer session, I actually took 22. I, I couldn't make a decision. So I just said, I'm going to take 22. <laughs> so I took 11 boys and 11 girls. But it's usually 10 boys and 10 girls. Um, and uh, what we do is, I, I de they definitely get more personal attention. They do get one-on-one -on -one, um, um, moments with me. Uh, they get one-on-one -on -one evaluations. Uh, and uh, but it's a very intimate, it's a very intimate atmosphere that they that they work in with me. Mm -hmm. is it definitely, like for me watching, it's like a big family. You guys are really tight, you know. Yeah, it's, it definitely pull the uh, the family support system because that's what you need in this business because I'm very tough and it's very intense and um, I force you to deal with you as a dancer and that's a tough pill to swallow. It was a tough pill for me like I still go through it myself you know so they have to um, really um, you know they have to really be willing to accept themselves and, and you know their faults and their and the great things about them as well so yeah were there any programs like this when you were starting out uh, no not at all um i think that's uh what led me to build this kind of program because when i was younger uh you kind of just had to fend for yourself and um i think this still is a fend for yourself business but there was nobody to really help you and and, and dig into uh, your, your talents and the things that are the great things about you that you can carry on throughout your career. Um, it was a lot of trying to figure it out on your own, basically. And um, and it's still figuring out, even with the program, it's still a lot of figuring it out on your own, but it's more structured for you to zone in quickly versus so you can be more effective as a dancer versus spending time, wasting time on doing things you shouldn't even be doing. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. What are some of the things that you see in your students that you saw in yourself when you was a young dancer? Oh boy, I'd see nervousness because I always used to be nervous, uh, especially if it comes to a style that I didn't really know. Um, I definitely see the same the same traits. I see the same. I see a lot of the same things actually, honestly, which is uh, basically uh, becoming. Uh, you know, becoming nervous because it's, it's getting closer to the show. You you know you, you know you still need to work on a number. You're tired. You're trying to you're trying to do the best that you can. You know, like all of this kind of stuff. It, it, it um I pretty much see myself in all of them to tell you the truth. So yeah. Um, for the dancers that are wondering out there, um, that want to be you know part of motivating excellence, uh, what's the audition process? What they have to go to to audition? Um, the audition process is uh, basically they start off with a regular audition and um, they come and they learn a routine from me or one of my assistants basically well one of my assistants probably teach the choreography and um, and then from there I select a few that'll go on to a callback uh, sometimes it depends it depends depends excuse me if I want another dance callback depend sometimes people get so nervous like that's what happened this summer in the summer when they, I, I could just tell everybody was so nervous, like nobody was dancing to their full potential. So I had to pick, 
you know, the best out of the best. And then they, then we have another dance callback. And then there's an interview process that they have to go through. So because um, the program is so intense and so uh, in your face and dealing with other people that I have to know where your mind and spirit is at first because one bad apple can spoil the bunch, that kind of thing. So you can be an amazing dancer, but if, if your spirit is wrong, it's just wrong and I don't want to deal with people who are have a, a, a negative energy and that's going to destroy something because it's like I mean we're together just as long as somebody's going on tour and you know and being on tour with somebody you don't like is uh, quite annoying so I don't even want to go through that process with people who um, have the wrong intentions and the wrong reasons for wanting to do the program or wanting to just dance period so yeah that's pretty much yeah <laughs> Awesome. Um, oh, yes. And when is the next auditions? Oh, the next auditions, yeah, the next auditions uh, for the winter 2012 is in January. I don't have an exact date yet, but it will be in January. And because the session starts uh, February to April and the finale show for that season will be in May. Um, the summer finale show is October 4th, 5th and 6th. Yes. <laughs> at um at Manhattan Movements Art Center, which is also known as Mac. Uh the showtime starts at seven thirty, so come out, everyone, you must. Yeah. Animal instinct, the instinct animal within we all have it. Like basically that came out because of the you know, one talks uh, always talks about oh she's a beast oh you're a beast and everybody's talking about and i was it's kind of like no you know you're not like some people don't even know what that you know when people say that it's like do you really understand what that means and so from there that's when that started developing and that's how instinct came about and it developed into this whole thing but you have to come to the show to see it (laughs) i'm not giving it away but yeah (laughs) Yeah. That actually goes into the next question. Um, how long did it take you to put together sh- the show? And um, it took me a thought process to get it together. I would say probably like two and a half weeks because I wanted to plan it out precisely and work with um, my co-director uh, Nico Wannan. And uh, we, you know, we got that together probably about like two and a half weeks. And for rehearsals, we've been start we've been rehearsing for like a month now. To get it together but yeah so you know i like to think about stuff a lot before i just jump into it and, and do it so mm-hmm. i always have the plan and then i just go for it you know what i mean mm-hmm. um how did you pick each role for the dancer um, and like what kind of homework did you give them to get into that character did you make them watch lion king they all, they all um I basically built their animal character from what they gave me in the program. It's from their personality. I didn't just select it just to select it. It's from what they give and from what they um, what they experience in the program and, you know, in the relationship with the animal and the characteristics. I placed it on them. And their homework was that they had to research that animal. Like, you have to in order for me to, to work it. You know, I... I could give it to you, but I can't do everything, you know what I mean? Because I wanted them to become the animals. So they had homework assignments. We had animal workshops. uh, where It wasn't even about dance. It was really about working with that animal. And, you know, it was about four-hour workshops for about a week or two that they had to really train and become this animal. And each of them had to embody each other's animal as well. So, yeah, It 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 was about, I would say, Two weeks prep verbally and mentally building, another two weeks working on, like, just workshopping it as far as the animal, and then probably another three and a half weeks rehearsing the actual dances and stuff. Mm -hmm. Me watching it was, like, pretty intense. I (laughs) thought they were really animals. Yeah, they're actually really good. Like, I look at them, and I'm like, oh, my God, you really are, like, who you are. Like, that's crazy. So, and and it's it's funny because they do embody the characteristics of that animal. So, it's, it's really interesting. Um, and that goes into the next question. What inspired the show, and um, how did you come up with the concept? Um, 
it pretty much like I said before the the from them in the um in the program uh like first season dream catchers was built off of who they were you know like this is not going to be like dream catchers this is for them like I it's funny because I always say like the first season was like the glam squad it was like they were you know they were like the model fresh kids like they had the whole they were like pop culture and you know they were you know they should be on the cover of the magazines and all that kind of stuff and uh this group is that, that I always call them they're just so weird and they're so interesting and they're very intricate and and their moves and just who they are as people and it they, like there's they're nowhere near that kind of group so I can't put a show like that on on them so uh I needed to put something else that was more like organic and more I don't know even just strange <laughs> on them without just saying oh I'm strange and just doing strange moves you know what I mean and um, I've always actually been fascinated with animals in general I like going to the zoo I like watching National Geographic and all those kind of things even though I have a big problem with bugs but <laughs> I don't like bugs. But um, I do like looking at those kind of uh, nature shows and things like that. So, any other choreographers helped you with the piece? I know my friend Lejean helped with one of them. Yes, Lejean is actually um, Lejean. <laughs> Lejean is actually uh, my assistant uh, in general. Like he's been in my dance company for ten years. Yeah, <laughs> and then um, yeah, so Lejean actually helped with the Raven piece. Uh, the girl who um, Haley, who does Raven, he did the popping section in, in that number. Mm -hmm. So he helped uh, with that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much literally. That was it. I chore I literally choreographed every everything. A lot of people get kind of weirded out because they, I guess, at this day and age, choreographers don't really choreograph everything themselves. They always bring collabs and all stuff in. I'm I'm just somebody who's like. I zone out and I, and, and I dive right into it and I'm able to choreograph it. So that's just what I do. But I literally choreographed everything with the exception of the Raven section uh, for um, the staging of it. But the popping section, Lejean definitely did that. He did an amazing job. So it was cool. Amazing. Because <laughs> um, there's like so many parts in the show. Wow. For one choreographer to do that is... Yes. I got a I got a crazy mind. I'm a movie in my head. I'm always, I'm a little kooky like. But that's what they say, right? If you're crazy, you know, most artists are crazy. So I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs>